to the Civil War Guru Show. My name is Steve Munson and I am the Civil War Guru. And today we're in the world headquarters of the Civil War Guru in the state of Kentucky. I have in my hands a wonderful, fantastic, untouched Virginia Manufacturing Calvary Saber. These sabers are made by Virginia Manufacturing in Richmond, Virginia. The foundry started in 1802 and it ran from 1802 until 1822 when it quit production. And then when the Civil War came about, it started up again. These swords were used in the War of 1812 and when the war started there was approximately 713, according to records, that were in inventory in the original configuration. This particular sword is in the original configuration. They have 40 plus inch blades on them. And they have a frog where you have an over the shoulder strap and it hooked into that. And then you can also hook it into your saddle. And of course in 1812, the cavalry was called Dragoons and that changed about 1840. But anyway, these were taken in. The Confederate government took over Richmond's uh, Virginia Manufacturing uh, Factory there, which was still there, but it was unused. And the Confederate government took it over and they started up again. They took the existing swords and from all the militias around and in what was in current inventory and cut them down. They cut them down to about 31 inch blades. So they cut a little over 10 inches off these things. But this one is, is, is wonderful condition. It had two models. The first model had a square top. This is called the bird's eye, and we're going to get the cameraman up here and, and uh, get up close on it so you can get some uh, good pictures of them. Some of these have the, the War of 1812 regimental marks on the, stamped on the blade. This one does not, but some of them had that. And they'll have a, they have a little number there. It looks like a reverse P stamped on the blade. But these are all metal, and, and like I say, when Civil War came around, they would take this off and, and put bands on it and, and make it similar to a re regular sword of the period. But we haven't had one of these and, and I wanted to get one of these uh, out and in a video because they're unmarked and a lot of folks uh, have them and don't know what they are. And they're so massive and most people think they're European but they're not. And especially with this bird's, bird's eye type, uh, bird's head type uh, palm on them. But this has all the original leather, original wire, fantastic condition and these swords of today are uh, again in, in the, the confederate genre of collecting and actually you get double bonus because they were in the war of 1812 and, and other wars in between and uh, then ended up in the civil war but fantastic piece and, and everybody that collects swords needs one for their collection and in untouched condition like this the original configuration uh, they'll bring a little more of a premium uh, they'll start at 4,500 and go up to 55, maybe even six. Years ago, they were even higher than that. But that's what today's market is. And so, again, you know, bring you another Confederate piece where you can look at it. And the old guru here has identified it for you. And if you have any questions, as usual, you can um, uh, email the old guru. And again, now, we have, uh, I have people that bring stuff in that want to sell. And we have some on the old website. And if you want something appraised or you want something identified, hey, give me a shout. And also, too, uh, we do antique cars, classic cars, World War II planes, biplanes, and, and on and on. So, you know, we try to stay diversified. But uh, I think, you know, this is our mainstream here. And, you know, I think, uh, it get, you know, I think you all enjoy it. And it gives me great pleasure to bring it to you. So from the old Civil War guru, have a great day.